Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as Sweden. So in this episode, we're going to look economically to try to figure out where, um, where our problems are. I'm going to be looking at stuff over here just to try and figure out um, basically where our, our issue with our money is going here. Uh, one of the things I want to do is I do want to tweak some of our prices here. Tweak some of this stuff. Some of these things are very, very close to being either on par with the market or just near. I don't know why our military production costs are so high. And we're only a thousand dollars short of the market. Inflation's 3.1%, so we're gonna unpause. We're gonna set the very fast for now. And possibly over the next couple episodes, things are gonna go a little different. You know, power is a major area where we're going to have some problems. Looks like industrial goods are going to be a bit of an issue still. What we might actually do is cancel all these actually. And industrial goods are going to be our priority first. Um, and we'll have to see how much industrial goods we get. Yeah, because if you look, immediately the moment we stop building, our, uh, our amount goes a little crazier. So what we're going to do, we have 11, about 4,000. We're gonna hold up for a little bit here. Reserve. And power is okay for the moment. So we need to definitely work on this. Um yeah, you're good. So inflation is now going down, which is good. We want inflation down. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna set him up to do all that. Do I have him controlling inflation? Increase revenues and inflation control, okay. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an experiment. I'm actually gonna take my hands off of a lot of this stuff here. Uh, export opportunities. Uh, sell access. And subsidize. Subsidize. Wow. Subsidize. Uh, let's do that. I wouldn't mind you having a close to balanced budget. I want to watch to see how the AI reacts with all this. Um, our game is going a little slow, and I don't know why. Well, we're making a fair bit of money. Um, A lot of it was actually in trades. 
It might take a little while for the AI to fight the uh, fight our inflation problem or deflate because we're getting smaller. And what we might do is just mostly concern ourselves with fighting at this point. Fighting and research. It's probably where we're, where we're going to make uh, looking around here. Really? 1930s experience. <laughs> the Baltic class destroyer actually would be something we're interested in. All right, looks like a battleship. We don't want battleships. We want mostly uh, escort ships. So our next plan, obviously, is to make a move on Denmark. Um, I, does Denmark hold the Greenland? It does. Is Greenland naturally on its own? Yes. yes. Good to know. So Denmark could be ours, which obviously would be a jump off point into Canada. Wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, they've definitely changed the loyalty for uh, for this era in comparison. So this is all Kurdistan. I'm going to assume that's... Yeah. Syria, ISIS. Let's put that, please. Windows update. Uh... Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, it's Armenia, Armenia, yeah. What is this? This is Georgia. Yeah, what's left of it? And this, that's Georgia's. Oh no, that's both Georgia. But what is this? South Ossetia. Uh, yeah, okay. Really, really tiny areas. All that. Crimea is technically its own its its own region. That's good to know. Moldova, and then I think the there should be another country right here, technically. It's like trans something. Transnistria. Something like that. Because there's another country either along this border between uh between these two countries, Moldova and Romania, or between Moldova and Ukraine, it's actually supported by the Russians. Let's break away. Uh, advanced research facilities, good to go. Wow, we are actually making money there. Really good. And then we're starting a new research thing, so that should make a little knock against our stuff here. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I think our next move will be on Denmark. Or should we make a big move on the Russians? No. You know, the Russian, Russia is still too big for us to fight right now. Our military is not big enough. Denmark, on the other hand, we should be able to roll over them. I am worried, though, about, like, Germany getting involved. Uh, 
could go right after Iceland. We could skip mainland Europe and go straight for England and do a uh, an airborne invasion. But uh, I don't think we actually have the Air Force for that yet. And we don't even have the transport aircraft. Oh, which reminds me, do we actually have the ability to research the proper transport aircraft yet? 75 tons and 62 tons. No. But do the British in their zero tons, obviously. 444 tons. Our light infantry weight is 410. So basically it'd be one aircraft per, unless we deployed the actual airborne, which looks like it's the actual. Wait, where is our light infantry? There it is. Our light infantry is heavier than our medium infantry. So basically it'd be one aircraft per. Hmm. So then the question becomes, do we want to build, say, 10 of these aircraft? And then have it worried where they're constantly flying into the location? And then possibly going to get shot down? I mean, we could buy some, obviously, from the British. We could probably buy something cheaper from the Russians. It's 500. 384. Uh, I think that's at 3,000. Wow. Can I buy one? No. Four. Ouch. Ouch. I mean, that can drop, theoretically, an entire stack of light, uh, light, uh, light units. So it costs us $26 million, so. I mean, that's, that's expensive. I mean, I'm thinking about it. I mean, if we had the money, I'd probably do it. So I'm going to keep that sitting there for now. Later on, they may ask for more or less money, so... Yeah, we're almost even as to money coming in versus money going out. So as for plans for uh, Denmark, plan is going to be a naval assault, obviously, um, around Copenhagen, around this location. We're going to position our navy here to cut off anyone coming this way. Um, and we're also going to try to position our navy here, cutting off anyone possibly supporting from Germany. Uh, if we can place our navy at this location, I'm hoping. Yeah, so right about here is where we're going to place our navy. For sure. Whether we actually can place forces anywhere else is another question. Hmm.
Yeah, definitely got to try and figure this out. Like, obviously we want to do things realistic. We don't want to just click and spam, right? I mean, that's not fun. Uh, we're going to have to worry about our units going over this bridge, obviously. I think it's like the Friendship Bridge or whatever the hell, whatever it's called. Um, that's going to be a concern, because they're all going to be pretty pretty ground up. So we, pro we, we are going to need to drop troops in behind. So if we do, we need to come up with a lot of money to buy those uh, those aircraft. Because we can drop three stacks. We're going to pretty much drop them on this town and this town. We're going to drop armor, artillery, and aircraft. Uh, well, actually, no, we can't do armor, artillery, and aircraft. But we can do all those light infantry and drop them all behind the front. And drop them all in behind here. Cutting off the capital. Cutting off this military facility. Because um, to be honest with you, the only place they have a military base is here. So if we can cut off any military forces that are outside of this island, we should have a clear, straight uh, stranglehold on their country pretty, pretty quickly. Um, but that's going to be the end of this episode. In the next episode, um, possibly the uh, purchasing of new transport aircraft for uh, airborne operations. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.